What up, gang? Your boy Ken Zerk is back with Persona 4 Golden. Y'all know last episode, I got three and I got two endings. Apparently, those were called the neutral endings I heard later from a friend of mine. And he told me how to get the other ending. He, t he told me how to continue the game. But that's what we're doing now. We're continuing the game. And we're going for that, that true ending. I also know you can get a different ending if you, um, what you call it, max out Marie's social link. I, I, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's Marie. I'm not too sure, but I think it is Marie. So I'm going to work on that whenever I can. But I got to talk to people. This fog has to be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. You know who you know who I heard it was? Juness. Yeah, that's right, Juness. The country of Juness is staging an all-out attack on Enum. You're freaking insane. What can I ask about this stuff? Hey, listen to this. Hey, listen to this. Rosette came and spoke to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I asked for an autograph of what type of guy she's into. Anyway, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. Didn't they capture the suspect to put a lid on that case? Are you done asking questions? Good. Go away now. I'm talking to Rosette. Ah, you freaking nut job. The fog sure is dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you have a question for me. Oh, a little while ago, they said the suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was that Namatame, right? I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, how horrible. It really does frighten me. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true there were no mysterious people? The fog is a clearing. The fog is a clearing even though this year is almost over. It's deplorable. It'll be so cold on New Year's that I'll never be happy. What do you want? Recall anyone suspicious? There isn't anyone like that in this town. I I even know you. You're that kid who's staying at Dojima's house. He doesn't show any sign of stopping. Stay and listen. All this worrying about the town really tires me out. At times like this, a sauna would be nice. Yeah, saunas are great. But it's too good if you can't get cold. The problem is I can't get my hands on any. Are there any kind young people who will bring cold to an old man? I understand your concern. Tripping. It's me. Do you recognize me? Why am I outside? When I'm at home, I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course I'm going to watch TV when I go home anyways. Even then, I can't see the sunset because of all this fog. Ah, I hate it. It's so depressing. Ah, you have a question? Recall anyone suspicious? It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumors going around all over. But at least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that. So I'd say there's no such person. Can I help you? A suspicious person? Ah, oh, now that you mention it. My friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's wandering around in the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, we got a clue, we got a clue. Her friend is wandering around in the shopping district. Is this her? Huh, someone told you I thought I saw a suspicious person? Uh, oh, that! Remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know she passed away a while ago. She told me how that Namatame person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki. I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. Since this thing about Namatame making advances on Saki was a misunderstanding. First, we should retrace our steps. That would be the simplest way. Saki, Mayumi, Yamano. There should be a commonality between the two. Surely there were some witnesses. Any scrap of data can be useful no matter how small. To retrace our steps. So the floodplain. That's where Yamano that's where Yamano was found dead, right? At the floodplain? Wasn't it? Gathered up as much information as I could. I should report back to the group. 
Okay. All right, let's go. I got it. I got it. Chinese dinner. Ah, yeah. Met up with my with friends after I finished gathering information. I ain't get much of anything. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. It's literally like they just forgot it happened. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Oh, freaking no. Well, one steak bowl, please. That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. Let me see I'll chicken. have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. We finished eating the dishes we ordered. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. Spoke with everyone about the information I gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. Basically. The end? Basically. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. There's somebody who fits that exact description in this game. Somebody who fits that exact description in this game. But you know, the thing about it is that I just don't think so. I've been like, it's just, y'all gonna think I'm a cop out. If this is, if this is the truth, y'all gonna think I'm a cop out because I've been saying this is episode two. I've been saying this is episode two as a joke though. I promise, if this is actually, if this is actually the situation, if this is actually the situation, I just want you all to know, I did not look this up before I started playing the game. It was a joke. I saw the way this man looked, I saw the way he talked, and I was like, yo, I don't like him. He's the killer. That's what I did. I did not know if this is true. I still don't believe it, but if it is true, I promise I didn't know. I promise I didn't know. I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. Oh my goodness, I outside. swear I will actually flip if this is true. What the freak? There's only one person I can think of. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. I think I'm gonna get some fresh air. There's only one person I can think of. Only one person fits the criteria. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Yeah. Ugh, it's freezing out here. And go back inside. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Maybe, maybe. Let's stay out here then. Hey, is it snowing? Look around. Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. Put your glasses on. There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? I should go over everything I know one more time. The culprit must... 
I swear if what I'm thinking is correct. I swear if I'm right. I swear if I'm right, I will actually flip. The culprit. It shouldn't, bro. Look, I will be surprised if it's even a choice. Like, if they even have it as a choice for me to select, I'm going to be surprised. If they put this up here as a choice, then I know I'm right. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. Judging by the warning letters, he knows about the other side and what I did there. It's highly likely that he also knew what Namatami was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... It's not none of us, someone else. It's not none of us, someone else. Dojima, it's not Dojima, it's not Namata. He's a choice! Adachi! It's Adachi! Of course, if I look, oh, if I look only at the circumstance, I can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on my actions. He would have been able to approach my house with ease. He knows the area well. Thinking about it, I encountered her. I encountered him many times while investigating the case. I learned much about the police's movement from Adachi. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something's bothering me. I spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. Because he was always slacking off too, probably to halt the investigation. He was always slacking off so that. We wouldn't, so that we, they didn't make any progress in the investigation, too. To help keep his name out people's mouth. And how do you know when he was actually doing detective work, he was actually doing work? How do you know he wasn't just chatting it up? Like, come on. I swear if I'm right. I promise, I promise. This, this cannot be right. This cannot be true. I, I, I clicked this fully, I clicked this fully prepared to get hit with a, you're wrong. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. Uh huh. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. He could have fiddled with the reports. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. But he's a detective, so everyone trusts him. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical exactly. information. Exactly, like I said, he was halting the investigation using his detective status because he was on the investigation team. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. What if he was being lousy so that we, they didn't make any progress in the, in, the, in the investigation? Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for there's some no time now. There's no freaking way. Yeah? There's no freaking way. Perhaps it's just my imagination, no. so I shouldn't speak to... Speak, speak. I'm actually upset. I, like, I know I started the whole the series off pointing at Adachi, but I was joking. I was joking. I like Adachi. I really like Adachi. This is, this can't be right. This isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. There's no way. Oh, that was adorable. Uh, it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. And he was swarming, and he was around Risei a lot when the media was swarming. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? 
That's not what detectives do. He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Yeah. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? There's no freaking way. And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? I thought he was just stupid. It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. He's literally best friends with those Dojima. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. The various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then, is it really Adachi-san? Goodness. Always trust your gut. Always trust your first instinct, I guess. Always trust your first instinct, I guess. <laughs> I, I I was I, I was calling out Adachi before I there was even any evidence pointing to him. Before I knew anything about bro, he said one line of dialogue and I said Adachi was the killer. It was a joke! It was a joke! It's him, all right. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is now Toshiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? They're probably moving Nomatame. Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. Uh-uh. We must head there at once. Things are moving quickly now. I think we're getting closer to the truth. There's no freaking way. There's no way. This isn't right. This isn't true. This isn't right. Huh? What are you guys doing here? What's up, Adachi? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering... You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Yeah. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. We care for you. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Why you got so much aggression in your voice? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. 
Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. Yeah, look at him folding. He's folding now. He's yeah, he's like, nah, I'm, he, 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 he senses that he's been cornered. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. He looks like he all he senses that he's being cornered. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Yeah. Come on. I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. Dojima is not, he's not falling for that. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. So, uh, about when Yamano vanished, you mind telling me about that? The time the announcer went missing? Yeah. I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. Oh, are you sure about that? It was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Let me jog it for you. The time... I can't... Oh, I can't, like, remind him that he escorted her? About Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Are you sure? Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Would you get off my back about that? I just told you a second ago. Would you get off my back? Figured maybe if I annoy him. Warning letter? Yeah, I got a warning letter. The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Are you sure you don't remember or did you do something to the warning letter? Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? Yeah. I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Mm. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? I don't know, because Nanako got kidnapped right after. Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. Look at him trying to That's escape. That's why your wounds aren't healing. He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Don't let him. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? Mm-mm. I'm going back. I need to get to the station. Nah, before. stop. Hey, get him. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Mm-hmm. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san. Do you have any idea who that might be? Adachi, who might it be? I have no idea what you're talking Don't about. Don't lie to me. Because we think it might have been, been you. you. What? That's ridiculous. Prove it. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. Put them in what? What did you just put say? Put them in what? Yeah, come on, run that by us again. Put them all in. What's this? Putting them in business. He knows about the TV! Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, Wow. Then that settles it. I'm not following. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. Oh! They didn't know that the kidnappings were... We're from Namatame. They didn't know that. You had no reason to say such a thing. So if he said that, 
That means he acknowledges that the kidnappings were namatame, meaning he knows that they were attempted murders, which the police did not know at all. Only the people who go on the TV know that. Now tell you genius! After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd that. What do you say to that, Detective Now Adachi? tell you genius! I don't know. I said I'm busy. I said you're the culprit. Put your hands behind your back. Get on your knees so I can slice the head off. Wait, you son of a bitch. Get him, Kaji. Adachi. Ah, oh, damn it. Useless. Get up. Go to your hospital bed. Adachi! He jumped at the TV. Not my time in his hospital room. Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way. He's in the TV. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. He's in the TV. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! In the TV! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. I got you. Adachi's catching these lefts and these rights and these rights and these lefts. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? Yes. We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Igor says something about we need to take our time. So let's go in tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. Yeah. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Yeah, exactly. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. That's why we gotta take our time. See, Igor, bruh, Igor really a goat, because he gave me that piece of, he gave me that piece of knowledge knowing this would happen. The extremely suspicious detective Adachi. We've taken another step towards the truth. Oh my goodness. I never really thought it was him. Truthfully, I never really thought it was Adachi. <laughs> we gotta rest. Teddy. This. It seems I've come to the Velvet Room in my dreams again. But something is different this time. I don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Teddy is sitting here not noticing my presence. Where am I? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Sensei? Why are you here? Welcome to the Velvet Room. I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. 
There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. I kind of figured Teddy might have been a shadow. Just a shadow? I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. Doesn't that automatically make you different from a shadow? I mean, as far as I know, shadows just be killing people, so... It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Oh, I don't like that. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Oh, wait. He doesn't know Nanako's alive. Tell her, I'm really sorry. He doesn't know Nanako survived. You saved her, Teddy? Huh? Really? I told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana Chance? Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. Uh-uh. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Something like that. Uh-huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Come back! But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. Don't no you call me leader? Hard, I think. There's too many things my little brain can't understand. I'm sensei for a reason, bruh. Just follow me. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, sensei. I'm sensei for a reason, dude. Just follow me and I got you. You know this. You know I got you.
You know I got you. Hello. But I have to get going. No, you don't. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. If you do not get. Hey, no! Teddy was gone. Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. It's just a game to you, isn't it, bruh? Give me back Teddy. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Give me back Teddy. They done. I just lost my dog. But then I took my dog, man. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. We gotta kill that guy. We gotta kill that guy. This would've never happened, bro. This would've never happened if it wasn't for Adachi. Whoa, look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. We know, like, yeah, we know the TV world's fog is is actually harmful. I wonder what's going to happen. If you can't see through it. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then, maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? This place. Uh, I see. I came back. Because you belong here. Now come help us. But it really doesn't matter. Come on! I'm completely useless. No! Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Teddy? That's my girl. Come on. It is you. I heard your voice. You said, hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone. 
someone else to. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Teddy, come on. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Everyone's voices, meaning it wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for you too. Come on, come on, you're important, come on. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. Teddy, you matter, please, come on. My voice. And theirs too. Yes, yes, your voice and ours. Come on, come on. Everyone. Everyone, come on. We need yeah, everyone. Case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best. But it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. Uh-huh. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. Yeah. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Uh-huh. Hey, that voice! Ah! Teddy Straw will allow him to over accept and overcome his weakness as the weakness of his own power! What the freak is that? Kitoki Do Doji has transfigured into Kamui. Kamui. Right. I need to get back to the others. Come on. We need you, bruh. Hang in there, Nana chan. We need I'll you, be Teddy. Back soon. We need you. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risei-chan! If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. Come on, Teddy. He's, all he's light lighthearted and on, always Teddy. optimistic. Exactly. We need Teddy. Come on, man. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Dang. Teddy's right here. How do we return back? We don't have a TV. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. <sighs> I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Teddy? Teddy! It's the boy! Little boy. Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! We needed you, man! We missed You're you, so man! Late. Who do boy. you think you are? Who do you think you are, man? Hey, come on! <laughs> um, Risei chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! Sorry. I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all.
You know, he was at his wit's end. He was able to come back to our world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. You are a shadow, okay? But you're a shadow existing in the human world, hanging out with human friends, fighting bad shadows. The only one of your kind, basically. You're special, bruh. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. Exactly. Come on. You're King Teddy, bro. You're King Teddy. You're King Teddy. You're King of the TV world, dude. You gotta... Come on, man. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. Dang. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that too. Huh? Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? Yeah, we pretty... Yeah, I thought it was kind of obvious that you were like a shadow or something. No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? Yeah. It's true that you may have been born that way. But you're not killing nobody. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. He has a human has a human form and everything. He's straight. Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on uh. your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> Thank you! I'm so glad I met you guys! The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? Yeah. You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? You. Isn't that just you, senpai? Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess that's right. Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Geez, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. Yeah, but we gotta kill the- we gotta kill Adachi. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and senpai. You can kill Chiz. She's just sitting there. She's not looking at nobody. She's not saying nothing. She's probably not even listening. She's not tuned out. <laughs> She's zoning out right now. She's thinking about ways to advertise the end. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa. I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Exactly, come on. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. We need the little bear to be with us so we can actually do our work. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top, starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Take another step closer to the truth. We know what Teddy is. We know who killed everybody. 
We know we 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 we're about to find out where he is. And we're about to kill him. We're about to clap him. Taste will start fresh tomorrow. Each of us decided to go home for today. I promise I'm not letting the I'm not letting Adachi survive what he did. I fully recovered from yesterday's events. I should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. I'll give it a try, but if Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Mm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, what? but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! Get him! This is my, my time, time to shine! shine. <laughs> Ooh! I'm getting something! Go Super Saiyan! Teddy? That boy done transformed. Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Let the man concentrate! Huh? I sense it from... this away. Is it Itachi? Um... How do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. I don't get that either. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh... You mean that creepy ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. Uh, that's that why it kind of smelled over there. He noticed it. He noticed it easier that way. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? Yosuke just whipped You're it out. saying he beat his pants there? Ew, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. Yeah, you, you did something even weirder. You whipped it out. Like, Gee, it quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. <laughs> you whipped it out in front of a live audience. Like, that's not cool, bro. Uh, well, it happened so long ago. My memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? You're not funny. Uh, you are funny. What the heck? Okay, guys. Enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. You love that word fuzzy <laughs> now, don't you? <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Teddy finally made Yukiko Though laugh. I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. The cheerful moon has returned to the group thanks to Teddy. We've taken another step towards the truth. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Give it up! I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Who are you? 
And what's this something important you called me out here for? Whoa. What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You cut my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. I got you. Come, what? What? What's wrong with you? You a creep. Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? She fell in. <laughs> wow! So people can go completely inside! Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi. Bro, don't even something. remember the name. You a detective if you don't remember the names? What's wrong with you? At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Dang! Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! So this whole thing started- God, These high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. So this whole thing started because Adachi is zero freaking race. That's all it is. Adachi has no game. He can't talk to women. He don't got no type of a appeal to him. So- he got mad and started throwing women in the TVs because he ain't got no game because he don't know how to spit that real game. What's bro? Come on, if you can't pull women, just be gay or something, bro. Don't start killing them. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got this sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know, lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. A council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. <sighs> He's just spouting. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Oh my goodness. 
you just you just evil, bro. Like you just evil. Like there's no way around it. You're just evil, bro. Like die. Can we stop this dialogue so I can kill this guy? Did you trick Namatame? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure, but I actually did believe him, you know? You egged him on so that he would kidnap more people and do your dirty work for you. Ah, uh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? Because he ain't got no game. <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? He's deranged, bro. You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. Because of you! I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? We don't need to. I'm gonna just kill you. He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? What a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Oh my goodness. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, he turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, 
they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? Why are y'all so surprised? He's crazy! You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Dang! Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? I mean, I was kind of saying that already. This isn't his real body. Is this a shadow? The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself! We finna kill you! It's about time you shut the hell up! We'll finish this right now! I, I don't know about that. Are we, are we built for this right now? Are we high enough level? Are we high enough level? <laughs> what a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? Yeah, that was kind of stupid, Kanji. I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's going to turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. Yeah. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. I agree with that suggestion. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. 
But now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over-prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face! By pulling all our strength, the path to the truth has been opened. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. We must finish things before then. I resolve to be fully prepared by f before facing adoption.